how to install, delete, and manage your WordPress plugins. That's what this quick training is going to be about. Uh, if this is out of sequence for you, I'd recommend you reach me through my website and figure out how you can get the other parts of the trainings. Okay. From there, uh, if you're already here, it's because you've done the steps that I've given you before. And here's what you got to do. If you want to add plugins which add functionality to your website, you just go to the plugin section and first of all let's see what's installed we have only three in this case okay the less plugins you have in essence the better because you don't clog up your website and make it a little bit faster okay more plugins a little bit slower period also not all plugins are created equal some of them are coded by prof real good professionals and made it work really well with WordPress others are more amateurish and they don't work as well or then play as nice with WordPress so that is just more of a trial and error testing it out you know, or working with somebody who knows what they're doing I'm also not going to discuss every single plugin because there are tons of them and you have your own custom needs so there's no way that I can cover everything but what I can do is I can give you some basic ones there's some free ones some paid ones and then from there you can make a decision as to which ones you want to use okay I'm just going to show you how to install them delete them and manage okay so there are two basic ways in which you can install a plugin the first one is you can just go ahead and click add new or you can add new there and you can search for it if you know the name for it for example I like this dig dig one as you can see there it is I just click install now maybe it'll give you a message there there it is it did it and I can click activate plugin that's it done now I'm done installing it. Now notice how it's active because otherwise it would say activate here. Once you've installed it, there's usually some settings that need to be done. Now this dig dig one, it's, it adds a floating bar where you can share the buttons. It's pretty cool. So what I do is I go in here and then I play around with the configurations. Now I'm just going to go straight to floating because I know that this one requires that and I need to make sure it's enabled. And then here it lets me pick what do I want? Do I want stumble upon? Do I want Reddit? Do I want to take off buffer? Okay, customize it. Hit save changes. And let's take a look and see what that did for our website. So it's not it's set up so it doesn't show up on the web page on the main page. But if I click on the sample page, let's see what happens. Uh, nothing happened. Okay. So something we missed in our settings here. Okay, so basically I needed to refresh my screen, which is what I did. And as you can see, I have a tweet, a Reddit, a submit, a like, and that looks pretty cool. And it floats a little bit on the page. That's it. So that's why part of why I like that one. So that's how you install it, how you set it up on that particular plugin. Again, each plugin has its own functions. All right. There's a second way. So let's go back to plugins and I'm going to add a new one. Now what do I, if I don't like the ones that are here or if I have my own because I purchased it or I found it somewhere else then I can upload a plugin and I can choose where that plugin is. In this case on the desktop there's another plugin it's called WordPress, let's see, WordPress SEO hit open and you click install now. Let's wait for that to finish there you go. Unpacking it, installing it, and done successfully. Now this one I'm not going to activate it here so you can see how I, I can activate it slightly different. If you notice here, it's not active. But if I click on activate, it will activate it. Again, uh, let's see. I'm doing a lot of tracking for this one. Okay. So from here, you would need to go in here, do the editing, which I'm not going to do like I said before. Um, it's a pretty cool plugin. If you want to use it, use it. And that's about it. So, this has covered everything you pretty much need about adding and taking away. Now, every single one of these plugins, if it's well coded, it will give you instructions on how to do it, how to work it, and how to do everything you need to do with it. If not, go back to the plugin um, manufacturer, whoever did it, and maybe they'll help you out. Sometimes they have their own website. Okay? So, if you like this uh, video, go ahead and click like share it uh, go ahead and put comments below like I said if you came into this 
uh, sort of in the middle of it and you haven't seen the other steps of how to set up the website and how to do other cool stuff and ultimately how to actually uh, put a website that will uh, be good for your business and help you generate some additional income then I would encourage you to go ahead and go back to uh, the link that I'll provide below the website bodymindsuccess.com and uh, make use of the tools that are there okay thank you for watching and have a fantastic time playing with your WordPress.